What's up guys? So those of you who saw my Nintendo 64 unboxing video know that last week I spent $300 to have a ton of N64 stuff shipped to me from across the country on Facebook Marketplace. Those of you who follow me know that that's how I do virtually all of my sourcing. I basically just have stuff shipped to me from across the country from individual sellers on Facebook Marketplace. I definitely get the most inventory this way, uh, especially compared to you know going out and doing the whole Goodwill, garage sale, thrift store thing. So in this follow-up video, I wanna show you how much money I have made off of that Nintendo 64 bundle so far. Okay, so the very first thing I did was I took each individual console and bundled it together with about six cheap games, one or two controllers, and some of the cheaper accessories as kind of local pickup N64 bundles on Facebook Marketplace. So you can see I have them all listed out here, 120, 120, and 80. The one for 80, there was some cosmetic damage to the console and one of the controllers had a loose joystick. Uh, but other than that, everything in this bundle actually ended up working, which was super awesome. So someone ended up offering $275 for all three of these consoles. I was super pumped about that. You know, if I can turn three transactions into one transaction, I will happily give them a discount. That's less time that I have to spend selling the items. Time is money, so I, I took that deal. She paid me with Venmo, and uh, she bought all three of those consoles got $275 from that. I had already made almost all of my money back and still had tons of stuff left over. So before I sold those bundles, what I did was I actually took out the expansion packs. Remember there were two expansion packs and two of the consoles and sold those separately on eBay. I got $36.99 plus shipping for each one of those. There were two total, pretty much identical. I just used the same listing for both of them. Then getting into more of my eBay sales, I sold Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards cartridge for $27 plus shipping. Then I got $64 plus shipping for Paper Mario. Remember, Mario is a good name in Nintendo games. Generally, those games hold their value quite well. And so as more evidence of that, you can see I got $60 plus shipping for this Mario Party 3 cartridge. And then I've said this before, look out for Pokemon games. Pokemon games are often quite valuable. I got $28 plus shipping for this Pokemon Stadium cartridge. Then I got $26 plus shipping for this Legend of Zelda cartridge. This one had some writing on it. Then getting into my Facebook Marketplace shipping sales, I got $26 for this GoldenEye 007 cartridge. And then I got $30 plus shipping for this Super Mario 64 cartridge. Then another $28 for the other copy of the Legend of Zelda cartridge. This one had less writing on it, so got a couple bucks extra. Then this just sold today, got $30 plus shipping for Mario Kart 64. And then this one was pretty cool. I got $90 for the Pokemon Stadium not for resale cartridge. Remember, if you go back and watch that video, or if you already watched it, you saw there were two Pokemon Stadium cartridges. One said not for resale, the other one was just a standard cartridge. If something is of limited quantity or it is rare in any way and there's a following behind that collection, there's gonna be people who are gonna pay top dollar for it. This actually sold very quickly in like less than 10 minutes. I probably underpriced it. And I actually have four cartridges still left for sale. These are easily worth $60. So all said and done, these will push us over the $800 in sales mark. I absolutely love this style of reselling. You know, I did do the more traditional uh, Goodwill garage sale thing for a while, as I said, but just was never able to quite get to this level doing that. There's just, there were simply not enough good deals that I could find in my local area doing things in person, limiting myself to my zip code. Once I branched out to the entire country and had things shipped to me, even though there's a lot of people who think I'm, you know, trying to scam them when I buy their items remotely or people who just flat out say, no, I'm not doing that. The yeses that I get far outweigh the increased rejection. So I've done very well this way. If you guys want to continue to follow my progress, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.